guys and thank you so much for watching my videos now i am in the process of working on some raffle gifts so what my nonprofit has been doing is raffling off some baskets of to raise money for my um, blessing bags that I've been making and delivering out to the less fortunate for the past, I believe it's been like six weeks now. So we've been going out to different communities and helping our um, families and children in need, in need um, our US veterans, disabled, and our senior community. So we've been giving out these blessing bags that have toiletries and items, and the cost of that is kind of costly. So in order to continue doing that, because we have we have such a need, um, we have been raffling off these baskets and raising money and awareness for my nonprofit. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do run a nonprofit, so I'm gonna show you guys some of the gifts that are going to be raffled off, but it's also some good ideas, maybe for Mother's Day. There's some great Mother's Day ideas here. And then I did some baby gifts. So I'm gonna show you guys how I made them and all that good stuff so uh, let's go ahead and jump right in before we do that don't forget to hit that like subscribe and notification bell so you never miss an episode I do have an awesome giveaway on my community tab if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button and go to my community tab you'll see an awesome giveaway for essentials it has uh, gloves face mask hand sanitizer and um, antibacterial wipes you might need if you're gonna start going out after the COVID virus, um, after the stay at home order lifts. I also have an awesome 99 cent store giveaway in my 99 cent store haul. So you may wanna check that out. I'm gonna link that at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Basket is a pineapple themed basket. Now, if you guys watch my videos, you know I've been gathering stuff from the 99 cent only store and mostly from Dollar Tree. So this uh, bucket here is from the Dollar Tree. Of course, I'm gonna remove that tag. And then I have this awesome um, bath sponge that looks like a pineapple. So this is from the Dollar Tree. The Nivea um, foaming silk body wash that we got from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is from the Dollar Tree. This is the Bath Burst Pineapple um, Bubble Bombshell Bath Bomb that we got from the Dollar Tree. These are from the Dollar Tree, the Hot Cold Eye Pads, as well as this Satin Eye Mask. I also have the Spa Life Egg White Bedtime Sleepy Mask. The Spa Life Brightening Natural Cucumber Lemon Anti-Aging Brightening Mask is going to go in there. This awesome pineapple little towel is gonna go in there. I also have this awesome pineapple mug. Now this is from um, the 99 cent only store and this one was $1.99, but it's super cute. So, and they do have something similar to this at the Dollar Tree that you can replace that with. And then I got these at the 99 cent only store, which are some summertime pineapple flip flops. And they have something similar to this at the Dollar Tree. So if you don't have a 99, you can definitely switch these out with two Dollar Tree items. Now let's go ahead and start putting it together. Now, normally I would stuff it with um, newspaper, but I've had so many plastic bags now because in California, they're not letting you take your reusable bags into the store. So then they, they're giving you a ton of bags. So I, I just wanna not waste them, but go ahead and use them for some of my gifts since it's a filler. And then on top, of course, I'm gonna put some tissue. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so this gift is complete. I think it came out so cute. I think whoever wins it in the raffle is really going to enjoy it. It makes a great little summer gift or you can use it definitely as a Mother's Day gift, especially if you have somebody that enjoys and loves pineapples. But I think this is really cute. The last thing I'm going to do, of course, is shrink wrap it. And I'll show you guys when it's done, what it looks like when it's shrink wrapped. The next raffle gift that I am making, which can also, double as a Mother's Day gift is this um, really cute bathtub. Now, a friend of mine got this 
and she actually was going to throw this away. So I decided to go ahead and take this off her hand because I thought it'd be really, really cute to make a gift out of this. So I'm going to stuff this with paper. I have some blue tissue to kind of make it look like water. And then I'm going to show you what else I'm going to do with it. Cotton balls here from the Dollar Tree. I've had them for a long time. I don't really use them that often. I'm going to put them on top to make it look kind of like bubbles. And then we'll continue. Things I have to add is I did when uh, Walgreens had their after, I believe it was Valentine's Day clearance, I did pick up this Bailey's and Harding England little, it was a um, soft socks and lotion set. And then I'm going to add one of these Bolero brightening eye creams that we got at Dollar Tree, a Dollar Tree Nivea body wash, a Dollar Tree body benefits polish and glow um, microfiber cloth. I'm also going to add these spa natural bath salts with rose petals in it. So I'm going to start placing my items. As you can see, I put my cotton on top to kind of make it look like bubbles. And yeah, let's see how this I comes did out. did find a bubble face mask, which I think would be awesome in this as well. So I'm just gonna start placing my items. Okay guys, so I am loving the way this one came out. I think it's really, really cute. It looks like a little bathtub. I did take the cotton out, the cotton balls, and just put them around there because it just gave it too much height. But I think this is a really cute little small little Mother's Day gift or raffle gift. And it was really inexpensive to make. A lot of the stuff came from Dollar Tree and clearance finds. Okay, let's move on to another raffle gift slash Mother's Day idea. Yes, raffle gift is a little bit different. These are some baby gifts. Now, it could be given to a mom for Mother's Day or mom-to-be. Um, I have here this really, really pretty basket. I believe I got this at the 99 cent only store. Everything is basically from the 99 cent only store. Um, I have a baby blanket. These even flow baby bottles baby to grow um, bottle cleaner. I have this bandana bib, some little baby towels, um, washcloths, Huggies um, wipes, which I've actually picked up at the Dollar Tree. So I have two of those and um, a drying rack and a drying rack for the bottle and nipple. And then I have this baby shampoo from the 99. Now you can basically find all these items at the Dollar Tree as well if you do not have a 99 cent only store. So um, let me go ahead and start assembling this. Okay guys, so this is what the final result is and I really, really like it. I think it came out really cute. I just gotta shrink wrap it and it is ready to go. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. I have the same exact products for a boy gift and I'm gonna do that right now. Okay guys, so the boys gift is complete. I did kind of smash the box. So I'm trying to like fix it, but I think the boys ones came out just as cute as the girls. For some reason, the boys looks a little less full as the girls, but it has the same exact thing. I think it's because the baby bibs um, is a bigger size than this one. So that's why it looks a little bit more full, but just as cute. Okay, I'm gonna shrink wrap that one and uh, let's continue. So my next gift is a Mickey 
themed gift which is something my mom would actually really like but I think I'm gonna make her something else so this is for raffle but if you have a Mickey lover in your life this is something you can do that's really easy a lot of the items are from the 99 cent only store and clearance hunting so the first thing I have here are these adorable vinyl Mickey and Minnie Mouse collectibles aren't these adorable these are the 90 year of magic uh true mick true original mickey so i'm gonna put that in as well as this self-stirring mickey mug not that adorable i have some lip smackers of course from the 99 since we were getting so many of these so i have mini and i have mickey and then i also have here an adorable mickey mouse piggy bank which is metal i absolutely love that and then i have a mini portfolio or folder that I'm going to put in here just as a backdrop because I think it'll look really really cute okay let's go ahead and start putting this together okay guys so what I did was I put an extra layer of uh, newspaper to kind of give it a lift um, I put the Minnie Mouse little portfolio folder because I want that to be like my backdrop so I'm just going to place my vinyl here Okay guys, I think that is absolutely adorable. And I think whoever wins this in the raffle is really going to enjoy it. Now, of course, when I shrink wrap it, this is going to be pulled in. And I think it's gonna look really, really cute. I think anybody's really gonna like it. I think it's a great gift. So yeah. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna start shrink wrapping and I'll show you what everything looks like when it's complete. One, I just wanted to briefly let you guys know I did add some Mickey ears to that because I just thought it put it all together. So uh, let me go ahead and shrink wrap and we'll, I'll show you guys what they all look like the final I, product. I uh, haven't shown how I shrink wrap in a while so I'm going to go over it really quickly. So what I like to use is the shrink wrap pull and bowl and it's by Voila. You can find these at the Dollar Tree and basically all you need is this um, shrink wrap. It's a bag. You put the item in the bag and then you use a blow dryer to um, seal it and make it look nice. Now I use a heat gun but you can certainly use a blow dryer. I have used a blow dryer in the past. It does work. It does take a little bit longer. The heat gun is super fast so we're gonna get started with this right now so at the bottom of the shrink wrap is like the warning label that's the bottom where you want to center your package at so go ahead and put your package in your box in and make sure it's in the center where the warning label is it's really gonna help you when you shrink wrap guys so it is in the bag and the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to start shrink wrapping from the bottom up I don't use anything to hold the bag I just use my hand so let's go ahead and get started with that Now that my bottom is done, it's already shrink wrapped, I still have the top to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start placing my bow and then I will shrink wrap the rest. Now you want to make sure you have all the air out so it doesn't get all bubbly and puffy. Make sure you have all the air out and then attach your bow accordingly. So you want to make sure that this is lifted because if you shrink wrap this, it's going to shrivel up. So you don't want that. So lift those up and then we're going to shrink wrap the rest. Gift is done guys. The only thing I did was pull these down so they're not all shrivelly and they don't shrivel up. I will be cutting the top portion right here. Um, just 
trimming the back with the ribbon back here. And yeah, this gift is done. It looks really, really nice. And I hope somebody, whoever wins it, really enjoys it. Okay, guys, I'm going to shrink wrap the rest. I just wanted to quickly show you how I shrink wrap. And I'll show you guys what they all look like when they're done. So they're all done. I think they came out really, really nice. So I hope it gave you guys some, just some suggestions or some ideas on what to do for Mother's Day, especially if you have clearance tent or you um, have some items that you want to go ahead and throw in a basket and give to your mom for Mother's Day, maybe a baby shower gift, whatever that may be. I will be posting more um, baskets as I get requested for some and maybe it'll give you even more ideas. My favorite is this little tub. I think it came out really cute. I love the pineapple and the Mickey one. And then, of course, I think they're all really cute. So hopefully I'll raise a good amount of money for my nonprofit. Now, I hope you guys are having a fabulous, blessed day. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. And remember, if you like these videos, please remember to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. And I, I'll be talking to you guys real, real soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.